Okay, we always love when um, writer and media consultant uh, Mohit Rajan on, is on the show because there's always always things to talk about when it comes to media and digital media. And we could talk. We could go Netflix and the catastrophe that went down on Friday yeah. with the with the fight. We could go. We could go Taylor Swift and those bots and stuff like that. But we did. We did want to focus on AI today. Yeah. Because I know this is something that that, that you've re really been diving into and really investigating. And we were talking that Kim Kardashian yesterday just came across. I don't think we have the video because we're just talking about it now. But she came across a Tesla robot for the first time right these Tesla robots yeah the robots are here I think in 2023 we were mostly talking about things like chat GPT sure. and how that was gonna affect things in 2024 there became this reality that machine learning is here and it's in so many aspects of our apps the way the kids learn the way that professionals use things and now we're seeing video of actual robots a Tesla robot what did you say to me before we came on camera that a year from now we'll have what I think a year from now we'll have robots in people's houses actually helping people out I think the first generation, second generation are gonna be problematic. But this is all a part of the fact that machine learning has taken this exponential leap. And no longer are we just talking about artificial intelligence as something in the near future. Does it freak you out? Of course it freaks me out in some respects, but I also think we have to forget the hype cycle a little bit now and be practical. Our students, our, our kids are in classrooms right now. They're using AI tools and they might not even know that they're using it. But do our teachers know how to use them, right? Do our teachers know how to actually create lesson plans and use some of this stuff efficiently? So is it up to the teachers to teach themselves to learn them and then pass it on to the kids? How are we doing that so, with ed education? So that's a great point. I think right now educators have to start asking their employers about but how to properly be trained with the knowledge that they have. Some of our educators in this country are a huge amount of knowledge that they're never able to use on a daily basis because of the fact that they don't have the tools. Now we're in a situation where if educators start to ask their employers to be properly prepared, they will start to create personal lesson, lesson plans for kids. Think about how many kids struggle because they can't sit in a 20 person classroom and understand things in the same way. Now teachers will have the ability to create personalized learning plans for students so no student is left behind. Whether it's English as a first language or it's something they're not good at like math that's the stuff that I'm really looking forward to when it comes down to personalized so there you go there, there you go again the, there was the first one real-time student progress insights reduced teacher administration burden those are the goods what about the bats technology over reliance on it of course if you don't have the students that have the fundamental the fundamental foundation of critical thinking and learning they're going to over rely on technology but we don't know if that's over rely or just using it well so for example if you're in the micro Microsoft Copilot suite and you're using things and your student turns out a good assignment, that doesn't mean they've done something wrong. That might just mean there's a disconnect with how you think that they're able to use these tools. But I also think from a professional level, we have to start to ask our employers as well. What can we do better on a daily basis so we don't feel like we're bogged down with things like emails and administrative? Have you done your employee assessment recently? I have have not. You, no, these are all the things that we kind of worry about. I think artificial intelligence will bring home some of this practicality when it comes down to these tools. Okay, so we always get worried about jobs though too, because mm -hmm. think there will be job losses, because those repetitive tasks will be passed along to AI. Will there be job creation coming from it as well? I think so. I think if anything, we're opening up an idea of creativity, about how we can start to use artificial intelligence as tools to start to create new jobs and also solve for problems. Think about the medical field alone, Tim. How many advances can happen with all this research that's starting to happen that can boost the creativity of people so they can start to iterate things a lot quicker. God are the days where it used to take a year to make an app. In a year from now, your child is going to hand in an app as an assignment. You know what I mean? As, as To prove that they've learned something. I think as we start to look at the holistic awareness of what artificial intelligence can do, we should start to embrace the tools from a professional standpoint. Okay, we're, we're running out of time, but medicine is a big one. Yes. Right? What, what's going to happen? Like faster, di uh, faster diagnosis. Faster diagnosis. And we're sharing information, so we're crunching data better. So imagine there's a cure for something in another country. Sorry for touching you. There's a cure for something in another country that we can start to access and we can start crunch those numbers and make them relevant. And the last thing I wanted to mention in this whole thing is that we have the we have the ability now to personalize this and make it our own. If you're going to fear it, fear it. You don't necessarily need it. But if you can find a way to use some of these tools, now's the time. Okay, I'm going to touch you back. Okay. Thinksmart.ca. Thinksmart.ca. Uh, you, you, you can find that with uh, also on our website, <laughs> cach.com slash morning, morning live. Always appreciate our, our conversations with uh, Mohit Rajans.